procrastinating to the max. As you can hear, Ollie is um, sanding down in front of the house. I don't know if you'd really even call it sanding, it's more like grinding off the stone. And it's raining, <laughs> hence, hence the coat. And um, I really do want to go out and help, but I also really do want to stay in the warm. <laughs> and um, not go out in the miserable rain. I mean, if it was nice, I'd definitely be out there. Yeah, so I'm just plucking out the courage, but I will go out there now. I just, just need to find a job that's kind of undercover. <laughs> This is the section Ollie's done, as you can see, in comparison to that. Look how bad it gets down here. You're gonna have to do a lot of filling and touching up down here. There was only one way to keep the dust out. One of us had to sacrifice staying outside. And, well, you can guess which one it is. I ever take up all the doors. If you're also renovating and think that we have this fun, easygoing time, it's really not always like that. Ollie is still sanding down, grinding down the front door, and I can literally taste the dust in the air. I've tried everything, but we are gonna get covered, covered in dust, and I'm gonna have to spend my whole evening cleaning, 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 cleaning. Um, and it won't all be gone then, but the majority of it will. We do keep everything very clean and tidy so that um, it's easier to clean up. But yeah, living through a renovation definitely has its downfalls. You need your mask as well. Do I? Yeah. It's been a week of sanding in the rain. It's been good, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, thankfully today, it is uh, just a little bit overcast, but not raining, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna try and take you with us a little bit more today. I'm gonna be filling, hence the gloves. You're still sanding, aren't you, the middle floor, but we're hoping that that'll be quite quick. We've worked a lot on the downstairs because visually it's where you can see. <laughs> and then the top floors, we're obviously just making it so that it's waterproof, but neat and tidy. Sorry if it's a bit windy, I'm starting down here, as you can see I need to fill all of these holes um, and just neaten it up a bit. You can see in places where it's gone back to the sandstone, I wish that we could have taken it right back, but just isn't possible on our property. So we're doing a lime, is that right? A lime water mix? Yes. Uh, for this, so it's breathable. Ollie said he's mixing this like pancakes. If you add all the milk at once, you get lumps, so you can add it a bit by bit. Mm. You're not convinced. Not convinced. But I've got all of these pots. We're measuring with our MS all butterfly jacks and our rocky road. I need two rocky roads <laughs> to one pap chat. To one pap chat. Uh, mixture. Waiting for a sign. Turn back times to fairy tales. So Awake and alive Everything about you is honest and true What do you say? Can you picture yourself with me? Waking up by my side Sharing feeling pretty chuffed with myself so this is like a process and you keep building up to um, get it quite like flat and in shape as you can see I'm just about starting to make a really straight corner here to let you know this is what it would have looked like before um, and I'm also filling in this so that we don't get any weeds so hopefully so oh, I'm actually falling over this will um, be painted afterwards. 
the same as all of the um the rest of the house and hopefully it'll be lovely and flat and it's already time to clean up my worst bit i never end up cleaning up i always leave it and it always get in trouble for molly hang on let me put this down I think I might be about halfway there. I still need to do the little like tops. I've done all of the sides, but I also need to build up some of the corners. But today was a lot about learning. I have, um, apart from like our weird pasta jobs that we do, I've never done anything outside like that. And yeah, feel like super proud of learning a new skill, but it made me feel bizarrely emotional. Maybe I'm a little bit overtired. It has been a week of sanding the house in the rain. Um, but I just felt so happy that I, I got to do it and I achieved it and that I was able to. I think that was the main point, like, I'm healthy, I have hands, I have arms, I was able to get out there and learn it and do it myself. And I guess sometimes we take that for granted. So anyway, I'm probably overtired, I'm gonna go and uh, wash, wash all the equipment now. Good morning guys, you are on both of our cameras today. Ollie's gonna take you outside. I'm gonna keep you inside. <laughs> All of the stuff that we did yesterday is all dried and some of it we sanded off yesterday but we did have to go across and build up some other sections so these bits need to be sanded but first I've got a little bit more to do all the way up there so we'll go up there now. So all of the patching that we put on the other day has dried up so you just need to sand this down but first there are some patches here and here that were basically like the whole bit of stone was missing so we've had to build it up quite a lot so i've just got one more of these to pop on here and then we can go down and start sanding Finish that coat now. It doesn't look perfect, but we'll see how it dries up. I might come back and put a little bit extra on here, but to be honest, I need to get on with the rest of the house now. that door for a second in hope that you can't hear the tumble dryer it has been it's been a week to say the least so we have been sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding the front stone on the house and it has been such a journey I tried to film a little bit but it's very difficult when you're outside number one neighbors number two because I get a little bit nervous and also because We've been a little bit on the scaffolding and I'm a little bit scared of it so I just wanted to make sure that I was concentrating and not thinking about the camera and where it was. So we're basically to the point where Ollie can now start, well, the final sand, which is just a very brief little sand after we filled it yesterday. We spent the whole day, actually, we spent only like I think two and a half days filling. And then we're going to brush it over lightly with the Merca sandpaper. He'll take you to do that today. I gotta stay inside because we also spent one of the days, our windows are obviously the original windows and because we've been sanding and because they're not in great condition, we've basically been having all of that sand come into the house, mainly this living room because we decided on the house, our house is three stories. We were like, we'll do it really nicely at the bottom. 
where people are gonna see it, you're gonna be able to walk in, but then when you look up, you can barely see some of it. So we've basically done a really good job and Ollie actually grinded it down, made a huge amount of dust. So the other day, we took off all of the sofa cushions, that's why that's on there, because that one didn't dry yet. Washed them, washed the curtains, washed the rug, um, literally cleaned everything in here. Um, all of the bottles over there had to get dusted down, and I'm continuing with that today. I need to get the curtains back up, all of the cushions back on, washing down. The dining room is the only room that we didn't tackle, so we did the kitchen, the living room, and the hallway. Now I need to do the dining room, I'll show you some of the dust. And then I'd want to do, after Ollie's finished sanding, I'll do the windows. So hopefully, we're on that like, last, last little bit of the outside before we can make it pretty and do all the nice things like painting and plants and all the stuff that I actually enjoy. So I think you can already tell in here on the floor, this is clothes that need to be washed. So I like hand wash them first. And then you can turn the dust, the dust that I need to try and get rid of. And this is just the reality of living in a renovation. I'm gonna have to take all of this off and um, dust it down. This here is a little competition Ollie's been having with Gramps to try and propagate some eucalyptus. I think they might be dead, so I'm gonna take them to him to see if he wants to keep them. Hi. Do you wanna keep it? Oh, I mean, mm, I don't think he's alive anymore. Do you wanna do the little uh, check? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't look, look very bro. promising, look very does it? Alive, <laughs> oh, I don't know. No. No, they're not roots. No. 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 That was a oh, fail then, was it? it? Okay. All right, yeah. Let's not leave that in our dining room any longer then. <laughs> this is supposed to be a competition with Gramps. Yeah, I did say. I think. We definitely haven't won. We haven't won. Another random item in our dining room. <laughs> Excuse us, I'm doing a really big clear out in here today. These are so great. So these are little seats for if you go for a picnic or on the beach. And you can literally sit there like support your back. Let me show you. Can you see? This is really bizarre. You literally like shovel yourself in and then it supports your back. And they're super light to carry. Like that is all you have to take with you. And I'm done. I've actually cleared a lot of things out of the room simply because renovating and dust. <laughs> um, so I took out all of the candles that were around the um, fireplace. They were in here. But to be honest, they seemed a little bit more wintry anyway. And I took away a few things that were in here, just really neatened and cleaned it up. I know it looks a little bit bare, but it's the way that we have to live. Um, tied it up over here took all of the bits that were out there away. I mean, this area is really just not the prettiest, but I don't know if I have the energy to do it before we do it properly. So we're leaving it like that for now. Living room's also clean and tidy. I've put all of the um, cushion covers on and it's feeling so much nicer in here now that it is dust free. Next up, you can probably hear ovens on for uh, bacon sandwiches, but I am going to cook us a banana loaf because Ollie ordered 25 bananas on her online shop. And funny enough, he hasn't been able to eat them all. I've actually already made a banana loaf and I think I'm probably gonna need to make another one after this. 
I cannot believe that it is Friday. Do I always say that? I feel like maybe I do. But the outside of the house is just wiped our week away. It just feels like a little blip of time where we have been sanding and it's definitely been a job that, so basically, I think I told you in the previous video, holidaying at home, if you didn't watch that one, at the end of that one we talked about doing the outside of the house. And the reason that we're doing it is because the scaffolding went up through the roof and we just thought well, we might as well make the most of the scaffolding being up. But ideally we wouldn't be painting, sanding, doing the outside of the house right now. It's not really a priority to have the outside looking pretty when we don't even have a bedroom right now. So as it wasn't in our plan, we didn't really forecast for it. I don't think we did as much research for it. And that's definitely taken us a little bit by surprise because it's taken so long it hasn't been every single day but i think we spent about five days sanding back all of the paint that was originally on there and then two to three days filling and sanding and filling and sanding and we are just at the point now where we can prime and paint so the paint that we decided to go for was actually wimble and white in the end so we did match to a fire and pool paint from our favorite paint brand Ticarilla. if you guys remember we use Holman paints and we just love them they had a paint that could go on stone like it was all for masonry but it could also go on metal and wood and i wanted to do that because i'll actually show you some images online we are going to be painting so on the top floor we've got our new windows then on the middle floor and ground floor we've still got the original windows which we're just keeping at the moment until we change them later on down the line so we didn't want to properly renovate those windows however we obviously you might have seen in the clip some of them were pretty bad so we wanted to just just like take off all of the flaking bits and repaint them and we didn't want to have to buy a new paint for that so the paint that we've ordered is like a 10 liter and it can do everything and also in the last video i was talking about window boxes i think i've finally decided on the window boxes they're not the ones that i was originally thinking of going for but i'm probably going to paint them the same color because i do like houses that have some kind of like uniform um, and just don't have too much going on because we're going to have the antique brass on the door um we've got some dark pots out there with bay trees in and hydrangeas in at the front so let me show you the pictures of what i think we're going to do so this is our front door as you can see, I've just plumped these lights there. But these are the lights that we're going to go for. I thought they were really nice because they kind of suited our modern traditional. The images look a little bit more orange than our brassware, which you can kind of see here on the door. But I think that is literally just the images. As you can see, we are actually patching up a few things on our door as well. As it's dried, it's now settled. And we're going to patch it a little bit. These are the bay trees with the pots that I'm talking about and you can see all of the work that we've been doing along here and one day I really want to change this path and this step as well but that is for another time so as you can see the majority of our house is brick and then we've also got this stonework um around the door and this is what's going to be painted in Wimborne White and Wimborne White was actually this color the skirting board that we went for in the living room so that gives you a little bit of a color reference it's a really delicate warm white and actually one of you mentioned when warm white on my instagram and i was like oh yeah like why had i forgotten that that was the white that we were going for in the whole of the house and it's such a pretty white that it won't look stark outside so thank you for reminding me about that and then i was looking at these on pinterest the other night and i think we're going to go for these kind of window boxes something like that or something like these so wooden probably i actually looked up these as you can see but they were really expensive self-watering ones we weren't getting those but i just thought it'd be a lovely idea that we could paint them in the same paint as outside and hopefully they'll blend in with the windows really seamlessly and not look too chunky and I'm not sure yet, but we might end up making them ourselves because one of the things that uh, when I was looking at window boxes, they were all quite small for our largest um, window on the bay window. So I'm hoping that maybe we can make them and they'll fit perfectly. And then they can hopefully sit on these ledges. And this is the one that I was talking about. It's really quite long. So I'm hoping that I can get one that spans all the way across. And I'm going to be that crazy lady that themes them up. So I'll have like autumnal ones and Christmas ones and obviously summer ones right now. I cannot wait, um, but I'll probably, hopefully we'll have decided on that by next week. So I will see you guys all then. Hope you've had a lovely week and weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye.